connecting you to the people that shape the communities and neighborhoods of Kansas City. This is Time Warner Newsmakers. From the Kansas City Union Station, here is your host, Jill Jensen. Welcome and please say welcome to newly published author Patrick Dobson with your new book, Seldom Seen. Yes, yeah, Seldom Seen, A Journey into the Great Plains is the full title. Okay, so could we call this a walkabout? You could call it a walkabout. I was uh, very unhappy, uh, feeling very stuck uh, and afraid to do anything to change it. I mean, I came from a working class family and so the the what I was taught the, the whole time is that if you go out there into the big world, you'll be crushed and eaten. And so um, I had to do something different, though, because regular jobs weren't working for me. And you, you were practicing journalism, though, at the time? No, not at all. Actually, I started, I took the trip, and I decided to go, and then later then queried other magazines and stuff about writing about the trip. I'd always wanted to be a writer, and uh, I... The pitch, the pitch weekly, it was called at the time. The editor there, Bruce Rogers, then asked me to write a column every two weeks from the road and send a picture. And that actually began my journalism career, and I still write journalism today. Well, so you walked, walked, literally? I walked, I started out walking, uh, and I intended on walking every step. Uh, but very soon after I got out of the city, people started offering rides. And after a couple of days, I realized that I wasn't quite getting what I really wanted. Uh, again, I felt stuck, I was afraid to do anything, and then I decided to do this, worked real hard to save up all the money, and then got out there uh, to try to find out how to deal with things like routine, you know, and I wanted to see this, the Great Plains, it's always been a source of great comfort for me, and um, so very soon after I left town then, I began to say yes to people who were offering me rides, and generally if I did take a ride, it was no longer than 20 or 30 miles, which is the equivalent of a day's walk. Were you ever nervous about accepting a ride? I was nervous all the time about it. And the only, but the only times I got into trouble with it were when I was being selfish, right? When I didn't want to walk or I wanted some kind of comfort or I wanted out of the rain or whatever. Uh, when it came organically, I never got in trouble. And the people overwhelmingly who offered me rides along the way uh, and took me into their towns and fed me and showed me the places where they worked. They were people who didn't have all that much to give, sometimes hardly anything, and they were so generous. So people who had the least actually gave the most. Is that what you took away from it the most, do you think, the experience? Actually, and how long did it take you to do this? It took me two and a half months to get to Helena, Montana, and that's what this book is about. The second book is about coming home on the Missouri River. That's not published yet. but. Um, I asked people about work, and I asked people about their lives, and I asked people about living where they lived, and because you know, we're so much people of the Great Plains we're right here on the fringes of it, and it's out there, and we don't often see it, and um, ultimately that's what I got out of it was to be comfortable with my own restless spirit. Did you sleep on the ground, or sleep I, in people's homes, or I slept or in rent people's hotel homes, rooms? And I slept on the ground. Uh, most often I stayed in, in little town parks, went in, talked to the cop, arranged to let him know I was going to be there overnight. I got run out of one town. Can uh, you say which one? I can. I can. It's in the book. It's uh, St. Mary's, Kansas. Uh, it was a very strange situation in which I happened to talk to the wrong people, and then I was invited to leave. Uh, so the, which, we have just 30 seconds. What reader is going to enjoy this? Anybody who likes travel, anybody who say likes a good nonfiction book I think and a lot of it is about the people and the places and how they show me how to deal with my life. And seldom seen. Seldom and seen. And where can we get it quickly? You can get it online or at any bookstore. Alright, very nice to have met Thank you. Thank you very much, I appreciate right. it. Really That's good. this edition of Newspaper. The preceding has been a presentation of Time Warner Newsmakers. 